This arc can be used to light pieces of paper on fire. Tenor tech. Tenor tech. Tenor tech. Tenor tech. Hello, this is Tenor Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you how to build an arc lighter. This is something that can light different objects on fire just by using the power of electricity alone. So, in today's video, I will go through the process of showing you how to build this. Now this arc lighter is going to be a Christmas present for my brother. So, let's get started. So now, before you actually start working on building your arc lighter, you'll need to design a circuit to actually make it work as intended. So what we want this arc lighter to do is take the 110 volts AC from the wall and convert it into 30,000 volts that is a high voltage arc and can light things on fire. Now, we're going to need to make a circuit that can do this. So how this circuit works is the DC comes from this rectifier and capacitor and flows into these coils. Now what happens is when this initially starts then current will flow through this coil and through the resistor into this transistor turning it on. When it turns on then the current will flow through this coil and through the transistor creating a magnetic field that rapidly rises. Now when this uh, field rapidly rises because of the reverse polarity of these windings, it'll stop the voltage flowing into the transistor, which will effectively shut the transistor down, which will make the magnetic field rapidly collapse. This alternating flux of the magnetic core of the transformer creates an oscillating current in the secondary coil, which makes the high voltage output. Okay, so now for getting parts for your arc lighter. So the first thing you'll need is this uh, 10 volt mains transformer. This puts out 10 volts on the secondary coil. You also need a push button, a heat sink, a transistor, this can be found in, old, in an old TV, some diodes, a 5k resistor, a capacitor, a piece of perf board, and some wire. You also need a black project box to house your stuff. Now, for the most important part, you will need this high voltage transformer. Now, I found this inside an old LCD TV. This was the backlight transformer. And it conveniently has two 1 ohm primary coils and one 1000 ohm secondary coil. Now, as you can see, most of the components can be found inside an LCD TV board, including the high voltage transformer, capacitor, heatsink, transistor, resistor, and diodes. Now, to building this arc lighter. I'm going to start by attaching all the components together and soldering them with my soldering iron. Make sure that when soldering, you just follow the schematic and use common sense and everything should look good. Make sure the bottom of your circuit board looks something like this and the top of it looks something like this. As you can see, I have all the diodes, capacitor, and resistor on top along with the primary coil of the transformer. In the bottom, I have the second diode and all the connections. Now after the circuit board has been assembled, it's time to make the box. I will drill holes in the box for the transformer and the button. I will also drill holes for all the wires to go in and out, including the mains wire. The circuit board looks like this. So now after your box has all the required holes drilled inside it, you can now start adding the components, starting with the large mains transformer and the button. So now, after everything has been screwed in and tightened with some pliers, everything should be solid in place. Now, it's time to take this box with all the stuff on it and insert this circuit into the box. I will do this using hot glue. I will also need to wire the circuit into the box by adding these 10 volt AC connections to the circuit board in a series with this switch. Always make sure to use heat shrink tubing to secure connections. And remember, hot glue is an excellent way to secure connections. Just put a little bit of hot glue, and then insert the component. Now, it's time to solder your lighter probe in. You can do this by sticking the wires through one of the holes that you drilled in the side, 
and soldering it onto the two output leads of your transformer. You can then secure the probe hole with some hot glue. You can then finish the project by snapping on the top of the project box, which is the bottom of our project. Your miniature high voltage power supply should now be done. Your miniature arc lighter should now be done. Now it's time to test it out. I'll test it by plugging it into my Variac, turning it on, and now when I press the button, now, when I turned on the power to this miniature arc lighter, initially, with the long cable attached to it, nothing happened. And this is because of the parasitic capacitance created between the two wires in the lead. This made the electricity uh, go down because it was effectively shorting through a capacitor. So, I went with this shorter lead design that has these two little... Um, points on the top and this is attached to the box. This looks very good and it works very well. After plugging it in, I can push the button and as you can see, an arc jumps across the two leads. This arc can be used to light pieces of paper on fire. Overall, I think this is a very cool little desktop toy for lighting little pieces of paper on fire. I think it'll make a great present. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe.